Good morning. Microphone's on. Excellent. You can all hear me. Welcome to Tech Tech 2016. This is so exciting. I'm quite excited anyway. I hope you are too. Because I'm going to just uh, give a few words. So my name is Mark Cridge. I am chief executive of my society. And frankly, I see myself as the luckiest man in civic technology. It's quite a narrowly defined sector, admittedly, but the luckiest man in civic technology. Because last year, I was fortunate enough to um, take over uh, the leadership of my society. And it has been everything I hoped it would be so far. Really amazing team. It's a, such an honor to kind of work with such a, a smart and capable group of people. And also to be able to you know, work with such a wonderful legacy as well. You know, my site has been around for about 12 years and has been incredibly influential in this sector. Um, but the thing I always kind of start from is we're just at the beginning of this journey. We're just at the beginning of what uh, we can really do with this type of technology. And we have so much to learn, which is really why um, we brought everyone together for, for Tech Tech. And it's great to be in Barcelona as well. We did promise sunshine and we have moderately good weather, but even, even a kind of a not very nice day in Barcelona is better than most days in London. So I think we're quite happy with this. And it, it's great to have such a really smart bunch of 142 really smart, intelligent, very eclectic, diverse group of people um, from all over the world, 29 countries. Um, it's a really kind of great group. And uh, we've got a really fantastic couple of days as well. So we've got two great keynotes. Uh, shortly after this, we have Guy Grossman from the University of Pennsylvania who's going to be giving, I did get that right, I did, excellent, <laughs> who's going to be giving a, a really interesting keynote on kind of the impact of, kind of mobile technology. Tomorrow we have the wonderful Helen Milner from the Tinder Foundation, um, who's going to really be talking about the people that are left behind by some of this technology, and that for me is a real kind of theme of a lot of the work we're doing at the moment. Um, we're going to have some wonderful uh, new presentations from GovLab and Civic Hall, our kind of friends over in the US. Um, I said about 40 presentations, and you know a conference has really arrived because we have two unofficial fringe events, which is uh, so we know ne next year maybe we'll get eight or ten and we'll see it. Hopefully, the, the event went well last night. I couldn't attend, unfortunately. Uh, there's also one on Thursday as well. We get people from Facebook, Google, and Microsoft, so you know, the new establishment are here as well, so that's kind of pretty useful. So a couple of, couple of housekeeping things, just a bit thanks, really. Gemma Humphreys down the front is an absolute star. She has made all of this happen, so <laughs> round of applause to Gemma. And so we're in this kind of amazing room with the cruise ships. If you see a cruise ship coming straight towards us, that's when you get up and start running for the door, but hopefully it should be okay. Um, also, Rebecca Rumble, our head of research, uh, has just been transformational, really, to my society. Research is a really a kind of core part of kind of what uh, we're about, and certainly what my society's future is about. And Rebecca's really leading a small but growing team, hopefully. A very small team, actually, but we're, we're going to be investing in that um, over the next period of time. And also thanks to the Hewlett Foundation, who it was their original grant that allowed us to set up our research team and also establish not only last year's Tech Tech, but this year's Tech Tech as well. We're incredibly grateful for the help and kind of support uh, they've given us. And David Saki, our new program manager, is somewhere around here. He might be off sunning himself or something, I'm not sure. But is he here? He'll be here, don't worry. He's on a panel after lunch, so he has to be. Um, so Rebecca, after this, Rebecca's going to give you a bit of an intro to the kind of research work we've done over the past 12 months. And I, I think it's, it, if I had to sum it up, we have overwhelming evidence for what we don't know so far. We've really we've worked out what we don't know to a much greater degree, but we've still got to do all the hard work of accessing what does this mean, why does this stuff work, how does it work, and how can we do it better? And I think that's ultimately why most people are here, um, because so much of civic technology is built on faith rather than on proof. And you, we believe this stuff works. You, In the heart of hearts, we really feel it. But we don't really have the evidence base to kind of prove that yet. And that's kind of a, a lot of what needs to happen over the next few years if we're really to properly understand who this is really helping, in what way, and how we can do it better. Because as Rebecca will point out, um, the, there was a... <laughs> I'm not going to steal her thunder too much, but she's very fond of describing that a lot of the, the, the people that our services help is, are described as male, pale, and stale. 
you know, older white men, effectively, who are already fairly empowered last time I noticed. And as someone who is white, pale, uh, male, and <laughs> potentially increasingly stale, you know, this is something we obviously um, take really seriously. So again, that body of evidence really needs to be used to understand how do we better reach out to more excluded groups, people that aren't already enabled by government and the different kind of processes that already exist. How do we reach those new groups who don't have access to this, these kind of important channels? And I suspect that's why hopefully many of you are here uh, this week. So why am I here, I guess? So I came from, I guess, a commercial background primarily. I spent a lot of my career so far in advertising. And advertising is an incredibly interesting career that squanders a huge amount of creative energy on pretty pointless activity. And uh, that's, that's, a, that's quite a tough one, you know, and, and I've also been involved in environmental politics for a long time. So being a, being a global advertising executive and a member of the Green Party, these two things were increasingly kind of creating a bit of tension. Um, and some time ago, I, I decided I needed to move on. So my society is very much my penance, my way of kind of making up for all of this stuff. Um, but the thing about advertising is it's a huge industry with a huge amount of impact. It's got a huge number of people intensely focused on finding out why things work, how can we communicate better, how can we have greater impact, how can we incrementally improve everything we do. It's a huge amount of energy expended on that. So put aside the creative work of what it does at the end of the day. And you know, we certainly have a huge amount to learn from, from the commercial world, a huge amount to learn from academia, a huge amount to learn from more traditional NGOs and so on as well. Often I find in civic technology, we feel as though we're discovering all this stuff for the first time, but there's a huge bodies of knowledge and best practice and processes and ways of doing things that we can draw upon to really kind of improve the impact of civic technology as well. So that's something that really kind of motivates me. And th this is a very much a kind of a moment in time because there's a huge number of things in the world which really need to be addressed and civic technology can hopefully help in a small ways towards some of them. If you think about climate change, inequality, corruption, the need for good governments, the need for transparency, these are real and present issues. Um, you know, this is very much a moment in time and civic technology can have a real impact on some of these big intractable issues. But we won't have that impact unless we really hold ourselves to a really high standard and really bring rigor and intelligence and smarts to, to this type of work. So I really see Tech Tech is, is the starting point for that type of journey. Um, it's, it's amazing to have so many people together. It, 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 you know, as I said already, it, that my society is really a dream job for me. The opportunity to bring the activism and the campaigning together in something I do day in, day out is kind of really kind of special. So I urge you over the next couple of days, share your ideas, meet people, discuss, you know, make the important connections that will help you inform your own practice over the kind of months and years to come. And most of all, enjoy yourselves because you know, hopefully over the next couple of days you'll help us find how um, we can really prove the impact of civic technology. So have a good couple of days. Thank you.